Hello, this is MakerJ101, and I put together this um, transistor tester the other day. Um, I had put together, or I bought the kit from um, Electronic Goldmine, a uh, transistor tester kit. Um, but basically, there's the parts list, um, and there's what it looks like. And then, so yeah, there's the circuit diagram. Um, but you can buy it from Electronic Gold Mine or Chain Electronics for probably about $10, I think. Um, but what I did is I put it inside this case. This is the circuit. It's got a, um, I think it's a, some sort of a, um, well, this is a 5.5 timer chip here. And then I think it's a, um, quad 2 input, um, like, NAD gate or something. I'm not really sure what it is, but I forget. Um, and there's just three LEDs. I took the LEDs off the circuit board and put them here um, so I can have it in this enclosure. And then I ha took a um, cable very similar to this one and used that for the um, where I plug in the LEDs. I mean the up uh, transistors. Um, but before, it just had a little plug like this on it, and it was very hard to test transistors because it would only test one type, and um, if the leads were a little too short or if they had a little glob of solder on it, it wouldn't fit in there, so it was kind of annoying. So I put it in this enclosure, and it works very well. Let me close it back up here. I also put a switch down here, and yeah, close it up here. So yeah. Now I I didn't really um think about what the code I mean how to um get this I didn't really put this in the right order but it works fine. So basically just plug in your transistor. I already sorted all my transistors. These are NPN and the other ones are PNP. So basically you just plug it in one spot. If it doesn't do anything, plug it in the next one. Then plug it in the next one. And see, it's NPN. Now, for some reason, I'm not really sure if this circuit tests them as if they're two diodes or if they're actually, if it's actually using it to switch. Um, so I don't know. Because some of them, if you switch them around, reverse them, they also will light up the same LED. I'll see if I can find one that does that. Ah. Uh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find one right here on camera. I don't know. Maybe it's just PNPs that do that. Alright, see this one is lighting up the PNP LED very dimly. If you flip it around, I know it's not lighting up the NP. Maybe this one's bad. Um, well, here's the shorted out one. And you plug it, well, plug it in both LEDs light up, so that means that it's bad or shorted. Um, all of these ones here, I couldn't get any LED to light up, so I don't know what those, they might not even be transistors, they might be MOSFETs or something, but yeah. So it's a pretty handy little thing to have. Um, but yeah, this LED here, when you plug a transistor in, it changes color. It's a bicolor LED, so see so you now it's more red. And then if you put an NPN in, turn it off there. Then it's um, green. So yeah, it works pretty good. Um, putting it in this case makes it really a lot better. So yeah. So yeah, I'll put a link in the um, description to this um, to um, either Electronic Gold Mine or Chain Electronics where you can buy it. Whichever one's cheaper, it's probably about ten dollars. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty handy little kit. Um, I would definitely recommend it if you test a lot of transistors and take them off circuit boards and such. Um, now you could just use like a multi meter like this, but that one you have to, it's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, but so for some LEDs it won't, or blah, transistors, it won't, um, It'll work if you, it'll still light up the LED if you switch it around. So I'm not sure if that means it's bad or if it, 
is just checking it's like a diode. I don't know. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.